Most of us are standing in a busy street just letting the opportunities in life pass us by. We're waiting for the perfect situation, the perfect circumstances, the perfect opportunity, the perfect time. There's never gonna be a perfect time or the perfect moment. There's never a perfect moment to do something great with your life. Take a look at the clock. That thing ain't stopping for nothing, baby. It's gonna keep ticking, keep moving, keep passing you by all the time you're waiting for it to read perfect o'clock. You have to take action now. Whatever that goal is, whatever that dream is that you're holding in your mind, now is the time. Now is your moment. Today is that day. Not tomorrow, not next week, but right here, right now. Why keep looking around at people that are where you want to be, living the type of life you want to live? Look at that place where they are and say to yourself, now is my time. Now is my moment. Forget all your excuses. Forget all your problems. Everyone has the same problems. It's our solutions to those problems that make us different. Do you have the courage to get what you want? It takes courage to achieve your goals, man. It takes courage to be successful. It's easy to be comfortable. It's easy not to try. It's easy to give up. It's easy to stand on a sideline and watch while other people with courage go out and get all the shit for themselves that you want for yourself. It's easy to look at these people and make excuses as to why they can do what you can't. You have everything you need to achieve anything and you're gonna let fear dictate what you do? You're stronger than that, come on. This is your time. You know what you want, so go get it. It's there, it's out there staring you in the face, saying, take me, I'm yours. But you're too busy waiting for the stars to align, but I tell you this, they ain't gonna. And before you know, your time has run out. Don't get to the end of your time and regret that you didn't try. Now is your time. Remember, you can fail in life doing something you hate, so you might as well risk it and do something you love. It takes courage to get what you want and to start changing your stars. You have to go into it with the knowledge that it ain't going to be easy. It's going to be a battle. You can either be a victim of your life or the master of it. But the choice, that's yours to make. There are two things you need to know about certainty. One is that it's an idea derived from fiction. There's no way of knowing exactly what the top of the mountain will look like. And waiting for that to materialize, to have that crystal clear step-by-step -step formula, it creates stagnation. We don't have perfection, so we don't move. It's one of those things where you wait and days turn to days and more days and weeks and months and years and eventually regret. Why? Because we were not certain. And what do we do? See, this leads to the second piece. We study everything. Right? We live in a time where we have access to unlimited resources. And it's this incredible thing, right? We can study the, the, the LeBron James, the Jeff Bezos, the Gary Vaynerchuks of the world. We can see exactly what they did. We can see how they think, how they approach problems, how they get to solutions. And on one hand, it's an unbelievable benefit. Knowledge is power. But on the other hand, there's a cost. And this cost can be extremely detrimental because it mitigates the most important thing in your life, and that is your unique self. What makes you valuable? What do you bring to the world? What makes you tick? And I'll tell you right now, you do not find that by studying how Jeff Bezos started Amazon and attempting to duplicate it. You don't find that by simply copying LeBron James' workout routine. Your value, your source of happiness, you know, that's discovered moving forward through ups and downs, falling and getting back up, not once, not twice, but repeatedly. And it's through those trials and tribulations that you carve out who you are. But if you wait for the perfect moment, you'll never find it, which means you will never go through this process. 
I often think back to my days in the corporate world, in the insurance industry, being in a situation that I was not thriving in. And if someone sat me down and said, Eddie, what do you want to do? What is the top of the mountain? What does success look like to you? I couldn't answer that. But what I did know was that I loved to create. I love to speak, to write, compose music, produce videos, just put out content. That's what I was destined to do and I knew it. But if I waited to move until I knew exactly what my life would look like, until there was, you know, this path perfectly paved to the finish line, I'd still be there. I'd be in a, a, a cubicle crunching numbers in Excel in a weirdly painted beige room. But sometimes you have to move forward. Trust your gut, your instincts, what you love to do. Embrace the idea, the fact that you'll fall down and you'll fall down and you'll get back up. But that it will shape you. And that as you go on living your passion, your purpose, thriving in life, the pieces come together. You have to trust that, even when it's not certain, because I'll tell you what is certain. If you do not move, you will not achieve. That world will spin right around you. I read a book a few months ago called Hatching Twitter. Simple read, it's about the founders of Twitter, Jack, Ev, all these guys with their different ideas and different you know, notions of, of, of what this company is gonna be. You know, it started out as, I believe, a radio, online radio company, and it evolved, and it evolved, and there were pivots and adjustments and alterations, and they kept moving forward, and they kept growing. And there's one point where they have a valuation of millions and millions of dollars, and they're having a conversation like, what do we, have? what is our company? Is, is real-time news the focus? Are we promoting social interaction? Like, what is it? How do we brand this? How do we market it? What do we have on our hands? This is a company worth millions of dollars. Talk about just moving forward, taking it one step at a time. Things will change, they'll evolve, but you have to give yourself an opportunity for that to happen. Imagine if they never left the garage or whatever room they started the company in because they didn't know what it would be in 2017. We wouldn't have Twitter. And that applies to everything around us, right? We have this idea that you know things were meant to be, they were destined. No, things exist around us because of risks that were taken, because people pushed forward until they got a result, until they knew what they were meant to do and it materialized, and that is life. So don't be scared to take that step. Don't be nervous to fall down. You need that. The world needs that because without it, we'll have could be's and some days, but not the existence that we want, that you deserve, that you're capable of acquiring. No longer is certainty the standard. Progress is the standard and your life will change.